Good morning, Quadcopter101, and what I got for you today is a review of the new little Beta 75 uh, from Beta FPV. This is another Tiny Whoop competitor. It's a little bit bigger than a Tiny Whoop, you know, 65 uh, millimeters diameter. This one's actually 75 millimeters diameter, and also includes 720 um, motors, you know, a little bit bigger motors. Now, it has Seriously Pro Racing F3 Evo uh, flight control board loaded up with Beta Flight 3.1.6. Um, it's available for FreeSky, FlySky, and also DSM uh, versions, uh, Biden Fly. And I believe it's also, it comes in almost ready to fly, although I don't know why you would want that. <laughs> I like Biden Fly, ready to go. Um, the camera on it is 520 TVL, 40 channel, 25 milliwatt. Now there's one thing about this, the camera to get access to change the channels, it's encased here in this case here. And if you take these two screws off, you still can't get this case off because this screw, uh, this lens is screwed on. <laughs> okay, the only way to get this off is to remove that lens. So to gain access to the channel changing buttons, you're going to need to burn a couple holes here in the top of the canopy to gain access. So uh, Beta FPV, if you're watching this, you know you might want to fix this so you can gain access to change channels on this 40-channel FPV transmitter. Um, it's powered by a little 230 milliamp hour 3.7 volt battery in the back here and with this type of port I forgot what these are called these type of ports and um, I think I got it uh, that's about it folks so let's go for a flight of the beta 75 and see how it performs hope you enjoy this flight okay let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs hope you enjoy this flight selecting arm I actually went into uh, beta flight and that should be armed so let's go for a flight of this and selecting acro and giving it some oop. Okay. Okay, let's see how it performs. Picking it around. We'll go down through the trees. Notice I'm in a different spot today. I forgot to bring my chair. <laughs> I forgot to bring the chair, my flying chair with me. Oh, it's kind of a gentle flyer. So let's fly past me a couple times here. Yeah, I guess this is for indoor flying. Watch my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's go up a little higher and see if I can actually do anything with it. There we go. Do it again. Going up higher again. Give me a little more altitude and. So okay, let's go down through the trees. Since it's a gentle flyer. Should be able to go through the trees. <laughs> yeah, this is not a high-speed rapid racer. This is something you go through houses, go through your house with. Obviously, well, yeah, it's a whoop, whoop competitor. So it's made to go through houses, <laughs> to fly through your house mainly. Um, but you can take it outdoors in a gentle day like today and fly it around the trees at that. Slalom through the trees. Yeah, that was that was not easy, folks. <laughs> easy, but you know that that would be difficult with a lot of other quadcopters. But this one, you know, it's gentle gentle enough to let you do that. Yeah. I'm going through again. So yeah, if you're looking for a uh, whoop competitor to fly around indoors mainly. Uh, this might be it. Let's bring it back so you can see it again. Um, flight time, I guess, is about three minutes. We'll find out here shortly what the flight time is. Flying around here so you can see it up close. A lot of people like to see it up close. A bug just went up my nose. Hold on. <laughs> I breathed them in good. Oh, I got to get out of the sun. I know I'm in the sun. Sorry, my love. Let's go up again. And yes, you can do flips and rolls with it. That's kind of hard to do with a whoop, uh, a roll. <laughs> Usually they'll come down to the ground. This one has a little more power to let you do such with its 720 motors. Let's go down low and fast to the ground. Oh, oh I think that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that was its flight time. Oh, I forgot to mention. 
as you can see there this also has telemetry um, for the signal it doesn't tell you the battery power telemetry but it does have signal uh, telemetry so that's the flight time of it um, you get about three minutes I guess and that's about average for these little whoops but uh, yeah it's a nice gentle flyer um, again yeah I again, forgot to mention you know if you're flying too far away and and the signal starts to get weak this does have telemetry to warn you of the signal you know relative signal strength indicator <laughs> indication um, but all in all yeah if you're looking for a nice little whoop uh, clone this might be for you, especially with these 720 motors. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.